Good afternoon, how are you guys doing today? Today I'm making a quick little video here to uh, show you how to pressure test your PEX tubing. Um, so we did the whole house, we got all of our fittings. Um, we have it rigged a little bit right now just to uh, test both systems, the hot and the cold. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do um, after you get all your PEX tubing installed is go to your local uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or um, maybe any other stores you might have nearby. Um, they have a big selection of fittings for PEX tubing. Um, and you're gonna wanna pick up this ProFlex um, fitting right here. Um, it allows you to use a regular um, air filler um, like you would use on a car tire or uh, something of sorts. Um, and you can fill it up right in the bottom here and it will show you the pressure. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is just, you know, sit and look, see if it's leaking at all um, desperately and it will be flying right down. Um, and if it holds for a few minutes, you should be good. But um, I would highly recommend waiting about an hour or more to see uh, if it's got a slow leak somewhere in the system. So once you've done that, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a uh, trusty water bottle. We like to use a big one just so we have uh, extra water. Um, actually got a second one here. Um, so get your water bottle, fill it up mostly with water, and then uh, shake it up. Fill it with some, uh, just di regular dish soap is fine. Um, then you'll have these bubbles on the top. Um, and then you wanna go and hit every single fitting and uh, get it soapy just like that. Um, and if any of the bubbles start to blow out or um, get really big, or maybe it'll start producing more bubbles, So you're gonna wanna do this with every single fitting. If, um, and like I said, if it lasts a couple hours and it doesn't go down at all, you're probably good. But um, it's hard to do this with one hand, I'll tell you. Um, if it lasts a few hours, you probably won't need to do this. But we have a very slow leak and it, uh, happened overnight so we're just kind of going through here it could be as simple as one of the fittings might uh, not even have gotten tightened in the beginning so it could be a very simple fix but I'm going to uh, go through all these and catch back up with you when I find the leak I also wanted to mention um, even if you are checking all these clamps, these fittings can leak as well. So you're gonna wanna throw a little bubbles on there. And actually, I just found the leak when I was showing you the example. See how that bubble's gotten really big? I'll show you again. Pop those. See how it's bubbling up like that? That means you got a leak. So I guess it's a good thing I went back and uh, showed you guys that. So yeah, once you found your leak, uh, just tighten up your uh, your fitting here and uh, just do that until it stops leaking. Just test it with the uh, soapy water and you should be good to go. Um, you might have another leak after that, you know, somewhere up in your system, but just use your soapy water, hit all the, uh, the fittings and uh, eventually you'll find it. Um, I wish you guys good luck and hopefully you don't have to uh, use the soap and water tactic at all. Hopefully it just uh, holds the pressure. Um, but I hope this helped you guys uh, figure out how to pressure test your PEX tubing. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video today um, and I hope it helps you guys out. And I will see you guys in the next video.